What's up everybody? It's time to go camping. This little trip is going to check off some boxes for me. First off, I'm going to do a little stealth camping. Now just to be really honest and open, people imagine like Rambo style stuff and that's just not it for me. Stealth camping for me right now, that just means low visibility, low impact. That's all. We're also going to do a little fishing. The majority of that I think will come tonight. I can fish off of the island. The next box that I'm checking off is I'm testing out, and I plan to do this every so often, my bug out bag. It's a bag that would allow me to uncomfortably camp if I had to. And then finally, I'm going to do something uh, that I have thought about doing for a while, and that is sleep in my canoe tonight. Excited about this outing. As soon as I get there, I'll be putting in the water, and uh, we'll make our way out to the little island. So. Bug out bag on. Let's get down there. Now there's parts of this trip that will look really woodsy, really kind of wild and, <laughs> you know, backwoods-ish, but I don't know if you can hear, I'm sure you can hear the cars going by. We are right next to a pretty major road. It's Saturday, this is not midweek. Um, in the summer at a lake there's cars driving by there's gonna be people fishing there's like people across the lake over there where I'm putting in I can see I mean I saw a jet ski go by as I drove over the bridge so um, this is not a wilderness adventure um, hence part of the reason why I wanted to remain kind of stealthy yeah there we are right in front of us 12 o'clock All right, come check this out. I thought I was going crazy, but I think I might be right on this. Look at this. So right here, there's obviously like a goose or some type of large, you know, water bird that has bit the dust. I'm assuming it was attacked um, and probably dismembered right here. And here next to it is a bunch of poop. And this poop is bigger than goose poop. This is not goose poop. There's some fairly fresh of it right there. I actually think this could be coyote poop. I didn't really know this, but I had to look it up. Um, coyotes actually swim really well. We are not far, as you can see, from like the mainland over there, and then right back behind me, right over there. I think that there was probably some birds, some geese up here, and I think a coyote came up here and stalked it. If you're a better scat expert than I am, sound off in the comments, but that's my hypothesis right now. It's a spring-loaded uh, rod holder, and it locks into place like so, and then you strap your rod in, and you wrap the line around this trigger. When a fish pulls, it sets the hook pretty aggressively. <laughs> So, we're going to give it a try. Alright, we've got our high-low rig tied on, some juicy worms. I'm going to send it and then strap it in. Okay, so we've got the rod strapped down and then what you do is grab a little slack and run that through the bottom of the trigger. There we go. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and whip up my dinner. I've got a small little stove and I want to go ahead and heat the water be making my, uh, it's like a freeze-dried meal. Gonna be watching this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get 
the actual trigger going off on the camera. In my bug out bag, I keep this little foldable stove, very small. I've got a little fire cube um, that I can set right in there and light. Of course, I have a big lighter, little pot, um, and I'm going to pour the water in there, heat it up. We'll try to get all but about four ounces. I would say that's a little less than half. We probably got nine in there. It's going to be close, I think. Eh, why not? That'll do. All right. Let's get this party started. And if I put the top on, it's more likely to boil faster. Oh wow, yeah, already boiling. That was, that was like four minutes or less. Here's the lasagna. That's good. All right, so just finished up supper. Um, and I had a thought about my bug out bag, and this is one reason that I wanted to bring it out tonight and uh, test it. I had two 16.9 fluid ounce water bottles in my bug out bag. Let's say I had to leave my vehicle. I was stranded, had to leave my vehicle. So let's say I had to hike, and then I had to camp, eat, and then hike the next day. It would be nice to have a water bottle as I hiked from my vehicle. It basically takes a whole water bottle, minus like four to five ounces, and I chugged that quickly. Wasn't much left in there. It takes, you know, almost a whole bottle to cook with. And then the next day, I would have a bottle to work with. I would stay pretty well hydrated. And so I think, thinking with that mentality of, I'm probably not gonna just hike, you know, planning the bag to be a hike, camp, hike, get to my destination. Um, so I think I need three water bottles. I mean, of course you could take more, but I think three is going to be my minimum. So kind of going forward, I think that's what I'm going to do is, is repack my um, bag with three of those 16.9 ounce water bottles. So. Oh, oh God. I guess I got something. Yeah, he's on. God, that scared them living everything out of me. Ooh. Oh, okay, I've had a heart attack. Come on, catfish. Yeah. Not a bad catfish. It's a good one. I'm going to send him back. Just caught me a nice largemouth bass here on the rooster tail lure. Pretty guy. Lots of fun to catch. I'm gonna go put him back. Alright, it's starting to get pretty dark. Uh, it's not pitch black yet. It probably looks a lot lighter in the camera. Um, but I think before it gets pitch black, um, I want him make my hot chocolate. I've got a, a leftover little hot chocolate pouch that was in an MRE, an old MRE, and um, I, I don't want to light any fires after when it gets dark, because uh, then you're running the risk of, you know, being seen, so, and I wanted this to be stealthy. Yeah, that's putting out a little bit of light, but not much of anything, really. Okay, looking back, the bridge is up there. You can see a light in the distance. Somebody's over there on the bank. I'm guessing they're probably fishing. 
they're not coming towards me, they're moving away from me, so I'll keep an eye on them. Oh, rod just went off. Beaver just jumped. Everything is happening. Nah. Nothing on. Thought I would take a moment and talk about stealth camping and being stealthy to some degree. Be mindful of your light. If you have a red light, that is the best. One like this. This is my filming light at night. Red light doesn't travel as far as big bright white light. So even with this big light right now telescoped in the air, if you get way, way, way far away, you're less likely to see it. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's rich. I mean, that's, that's really good. Wow, that may be the best thing I've had out of an MRE. Ever. So anyway, I'm not the stealth expert. There's lots of YouTubers that are stealth experts out there, but my biggies are I'm going for low impact, low visibility. Have a good story. Don't flash your lights around. No big fires. Don't set up so early. You know, if you're camping overnight and you don't want to be caught or seen, don't set up camp at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, if you can wait all the way to dark or even beyond dark to set up, do it. And then be out early. I'm probably going to get up around 5. I may make a little coffee. I'm feeling it. And then I'm going to pack up and I'm going to paddle out. Those are my tips. I'm not the expert, but if anybody was wondering or wanted my opinion, don't do anything illegal. Camp at your own risk. Be smart. Be safe. Don't do dumb stuff. I'm going to turn my Oh, there goes the catfish. Not a huge one, but not bad. A little smaller than that last one. I am going to sleep in the canoe. The first thing I'm going to do is wipe out the bottom as best I can. My head is going to be up here. My feet are going to be down here. In my bug out bag, I have the climate static feet. It's not a sleeping bag. It's it's just a uh, it's just a blanket, like a camping type blanket. Of course, I'm going to be tying off the canoe. This carabiner here is connected to the canoe. This is a big giant one, and this will wrap around the tree and connect back on itself. I was planning on bugs tonight. Um, although I'm happy to see that I don't see them, I am going to do this. This was my uh, trick for the bugs. This is a shade net. Um, I believe it's a 12 by 10 shade net. And I'll put the link maybe to it in the description. You can buy it at different link, uh, lengths. Um, and so what I'm going to do, I have two bolts. And I'm going to take a corner. If I can find one. And I'm going to run, it has grommets, and I'm going to run the bolt through the grommet, and I'm going to go, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. I'm going to turn my light and my headlamp on just for a quick second. Right here. I'm going to go right in there, just like that, and I'm going to do that on the other if you can see this on the other side. Drape it over like that. Drape this side over like this. And turn the light on so you can see. I think 
that's going to do pretty well. It'll be underneath here, pushing my feet all the way down. And then underneath for my head here. And right in there. And I'll pull this over me. Drape this as my bug, bug netting. Just like this. I am I am in the water officially. <laughs> this is this is an odd situation. But here I am. Gonna try to get some shut eye. Okay, it's about 10 minutes to 6 o'clock, and my, uh, well, I was going to say camp, not much camp here. Um, all of my items are secured, put away. Um, I just need to put away this pot, and I still have my stove out, which I just left out cooling. Um, I've got all my trash, which was very little anyway, so everything's pretty much ready to go. and. Um, I don't anticipate that I'll stay out for very long. Then I might just call it a video right here. But not before tasting this coffee. Yeah, not my favorite. But it's warm. It'll get some caffeine in me. And it's perfect for my bug out bag. Thank you for joining me on this little outing. And I hope you'll join me for more. Subscribe if you'd like to, and I appreciate all your support. Take care, guys. We'll see you on the next video.